Okay, so this is my um, baby back rib meal. Uh, it's really, really, really loud in here, so I may have to do a voiceover. It took forever to get it. Um, this is the di the uh, Sea World All Day Dining Plan. Um, if you even try, from what I'm seeing, if you even try to come every hour. Uh, you have such an incredible wait of about 20 minutes plus um, that you would just be eating and going to the next restaurant. So um, this meal with the drink and the cake and everything would have been like $27 was how they rang it up. But since I got the wristband, um, <clears throat> I can eat at every restaurant so it'll pay off for today but only if you're ordering the most expensive things on the menu and literally running from place to eat to place to eat so um, I don't know we'll see I don't, just I'm always blown away it smells really good um, the fries are uh, not seasoned at all uh, yeah not seasoned at all The fries aren't seasoned at all, um, like, uh, I mean, at all, at all. So, uh, yeah, uh, SeaWorld really needs to work out their logistics. Okay, if you like ribs, uh, this is not a meal for you. They're incredibly tough. They cook them with the silver skin on, so the meat on one side is sticking. I've never had ribs that I have to fight to get off the bone. These are baby backs that you have to fight to get off the bone. I've never, ever had that, ever. Um, so overall, this meal for, well, let's remove the extras, but even at, at the, just the, if you're buying it for $17.99, which is what it was, it's really just not gonna be worth it. However, I just took a bite of the carrot cake. It's moist. It's not over iced. Um, it's flavorful. So I like the carrot cake. I thought I'd show you guys <clears throat> how tough these are. Can't even get these two apart. Crazy. So, um, it's under the ears, and we are in SeaWorld, and I already know how the food at the Spice Mill is. I just came from the Voyager restaurant, which is a barbecue. Yeah, it wasn't good. I mean, I couldn't believe how not good it was. So, uh, but they have a foot-long corn dog that look like they have tachos. Then here we have beer and wine. And considering it just finished pouring here, still pretty crowded. Who knew that they were even doing character meet and greets? How cute is this? So SeaWorld has gotten into their own version of trading pins too. Um, they're all around in the park. I'll do a video on them someday. I actually should go up to the sky counter, um, sky tower, and see uh, what's going on with Infinity Falls. They have it all. Uh, the lights are starting to come on for Electric Ocean. So I'm waiting for the sky tower. It's hot. So I came to an open space. Thought I'd watch. Um, I think this is Manta. <coughs> nope, still might be Mako. Yep, still Mako. <coughs> it 
kind of was threatening to rain again. So I'm not sure whether they stopped it from running again. Maybe. Oh, no, Manta's running. Are they back already? Yep. thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. Manta. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire ride. And no smoking, please. Oh, Jesus. I lit up a cigarette here and smacked it. Oh, that's on top of Atlantis. Okay, good to know. So, it's a pretty Did park. Did you know that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 30,000 animals over the past 50 years? You can learn more by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. Be inspired by the exciting real-life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea life with which we share. So there we are, Infinity Falls. Sea rescue oh, weekend, it's not coming along as much as I'd like. Well, it looks like it's still about where it was. Oh, yeah. Naturally. So here I am, and this time I stopped at the spice mill, and I got a Caesar, chicken Caesar salad, and strawberries, and uh, oranges, and another Coke. Uh, and this little lady is fantastic. I have to grab her name so I can call and let them know, because she was very good, very attentive to the guests. So that's really nice to see. Especially after I haven't had such the world's greatest experiences here. But still, the line moves very slowly here. Like it actually did in the voyage. Um, it, it, the line moves very slow here like it did at the voyage. I mean, it was just incredible that, that I spent, you know, 25 minutes in line and there were literally like seven people in front of me. So, um, this little lady was on point. So it turns out the amazing young lady in orange is Andrika. So looking forward to giving lots of compliments about her. I, I think that was probably the best experience that I've had with somebody that is not an animal ambassador here on property at SeaWorld. And uh, so I'm trying to reward them by letting them know how fantastic she is, because she's really great. Okay, I just, well, as you can see, I've had a few strawberries. They're super flavorful. I don't even remember having a strawberry that flavorful since I was a kid, so uh, this is really interesting and delicious. I hope the oranges are the same kind of thing I remember. I mean, these were so good that I wouldn't hesitate to get them again. So I headed over to the Flamecraft, uh, Flamecraft Bar. Uh, the live music just began to take a break. And drinks are two for one. So <laughs> I'm doing some Patron. Did you want anything with it? Okay, Flamecraft Bar is uh, one of my favorite places uh, to get a drink here in SeaWorld. They have a bunch of different types of beer. It's a full bar. And uh, the bartender's usually pretty friendly and uh, busy. They're always busy. <laughs> but they definitely have some interesting drinks. They've got, uh, I don't know, different layers that they do with the frozen. And they have like a, a foot-long pretzel here. And there's some snacky foods. Let me, let me show you the menu. Oh, sorry, there's beer options. Okay, these are just the beer options. And this is all draft. Now this is not covered under that that food plan I'm on for the day, but I'm not getting any food. I am just getting myself a trone. And 
doing a shot. Okay, here's the menu, see? They have these cool layered drinks. And then they have uh, Bloody Mary. And a strawberry basil lemonade. Haven't tried that. And this, I cannot read. And of course, pina colada. And here's some of the food that they have. Oh, the frozen drinks are $9.99. Hurricane with the hurricane souvenir glass is another three bucks. <clears throat> and then the refills are $9.99. Pina colada, strawberry daiquiri, margarita, kid flame, which is orange cream and bananas blended in perfect harmony. It's $5.99. The pretzel. The nachos, which I have uh, have had, and they're okay. You know, they're not great, but of course, they're five seventy nine. Uh, the chicken quesadilla and the steak quesadilla. I haven't had the steak quesadilla, but the chicken quesadilla is um, very flavorful and messy. Uh, and then there are their signature cocktails. And that's uh, the Supreme Cocktails are $11.99 with the Hurricane Souvenir Glass is $14.99 and then the refills are $11.99. You have the Flamecraft Breeze, the Rosemary Vodka Fizz, the Strawberry Basil Lemonade, the Flamecraft Bloody Mary, bottled beer, large bottled beer, and then wine. So if you're in SeaWorld, this is definitely one of the places to come. Under the Ears absolutely recommends the Flamecraft Bar. So here's the bill. It was $9.99 for the shot of Patron. And uh, it was by one get one, so I got a second shot. And so the whole thing comes to $10.64. Well, for two shots of Patron, uh, it's pretty good. Okay, restaurant number three. I got watermelon, an orange Fanta because they were out of Coke, and a chicken parmesan sandwich. I'll let you know how it is. And Southern Exploring, I've got three down. Okay, it's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's quick serve, so I understand. Um, it's comparable to quick serve at Disney. Uh, this meal would have been 17 and change. Look at this cute little peanut. So it was 17 and change. So the salad and the drink and all that was 15 and change. Uh, it was 27 and change at the first one. And now this one at 17 something. So definitely say that $35 pulls off and pays off if you are planning on being here all day and doing food here all day. Okay, Southern Exploring, I concede you won the challenge. <laughs> I can do, uh, I didn't even eat everything at every restaurant, <laughs> but the portions are pretty good size. I mean, the burgers are half pound. Um, this is a bunch of chicken strips, I don't know, I'd say three or four. And, uh, and for $34.99, less for kids, but if you're here all day, it's really not a bad deal.